video, we are going to go over how to breathe during labor and mindful breathing techniques for an easier labor. It is great to use breathing techniques in all stages of labor, but good to start practicing throughout pregnancy and in early labor. So let's go over some breathing techniques together. The first one is de-stressor breathing. So when breathing in labor, you're going to want to avoid hyperventilating and holding your breath by using de-stressor breathing techniques. This technique helps replenish the body with good fresh oxygen, which lessens the pain of contractions and gives strength to the contracting uterus. To understand why breathing is so important, I like the analogy of the heart attack. The pain of a heart attack is due to the lack of oxygen or blood flow getting to the heart. Another good analogy is frostbite, which you probably have experienced before, so you could understand that there is pain when you have a lack of oxygen or blood flow to a certain part of your body, such as your fingers and hands and toes. So you're going to really want to make sure to breathe and breathe well so your uterus is working well and is in less pain. So how do you do this de-stressor breath? For one, you're going to want to make sure to do diaphragm breathing, making sure to not inhale with your chest or inhale with your stomach where it bulges out, but to use your diaphragm right here and extending and widening just where the diaphragm is. I best feel diaphragm breathing when focusing on widening my back where the diaphragm is located. And you can practice this at home by tying like a robe string around your diaphragm and practicing learning the feel of diaphragm breathing. So with diaphragm breathing, you're going to want to breathe in through your nose for four seconds and breathe out through your mouth for six seconds. So let's do one together. Breathe in for four seconds and breathe out for six seconds. The in-breath energizes activating your sympathetic nervous system or your fight or flight system, filling the blood and your organs, including your uterus, with good fresh oxygen. The out breath lets go, activating the parasympathetic nervous system or the system that is responsible for balancing or promoting all those de-stressing hormones needed to promote labor and birth. That's why the breath out is two counts longer and why this breathing technique is called the de-stressor, making sure to get rid of all that old oxygen the body has stored up. The next breathing technique that I would love to share with you guys is called mindful breathing. Mindful breathing is being aware of your moment-to-moment -moment birthing sensations to keep you in the present and in control of your birth. A great technique for managing pain, especially in that active phase phase in the transition phase of labor. So next what you do is take all your knowledge that you know about your de-stressor breathing technique and take it one step further by focusing on your in and out breath, which is the most common mindful act you can do in birth. So there are a variety of mindful breathing techniques to help you focus and get your mind in control of your labor pains. So you can do this with your eyes closed or your eyes open, which everyone helps you best focus on one of the mindful techniques that we are about to go over. So one of the options to do mindful breathing is by counting. Doing your de-stressor breathing count to 10 and counting to 10 with each out breath. So one, two, <laughs> and all the way up to 10 and go back to one again. Another good option is called scanning the body. So during your de-stressor breathing, you are bringing awareness to your whole body. So you're going to want to start at the top of your head and going down and stop at any areas of your body that may be tensed and making sure to relax them like your shoulders or your jaw, wherever you're tensing up, making sure to go and relax them and then continuing down to your toes. So what this would look like is you're breathing in 
and you're breathing out and you're like and and you're starting at your head and you're thinking about your eyebrows and your eyes and your ears and you're thinking about if your jaw is tensed things like that so you're really bringing awareness to the body right now another great thing to do during your breathing is include your labor affirmations or stating your birth motto saying one of those with each out breath or having your birth partner read them to you another great mindful technique is to focus on the senses and especially focusing on non-painful areas the smells in the room the sound of the room the sounds out of the room what your body is touching something to look at in the room or what your partner doula midwife is massaging at this time and I would love to talk about labor massages in another video so as you pick something in the room or some type of body sense that you choose make sure to scan it and scan it in detail just like the body scan so right now I see a plant and I'm gonna scan it while I'm breathing I'm just gonna look at it and notice what color it is how long it is, um, if there's any dead parts on it, you know, just really scanning an item or a sense. Another great option that tons of mothers do is called sounding in low tones. Our bodies are so interconnected and when our throat is choked from fear or pain or unexpressed emotions, it affects our pelvic region specifically the dilation of the cervix, potentially slowing labor. Keeping low sounding tones like oohs and ahs instead of high pitched screams are super beneficial for staying relaxed. It is the most common sounds expressed during labor and can even signal to your care providers that you are relaxed and handling the sensations well. Or if you are yelling and screaming, this can be a sign to your care provider that you're holding tension probably somewhere else and probably needing extra coping skills. But a simple reminder to just use those low tones can make a super big impact. Last but not least, a great mindful technique is to envision something super sweet, <laughs> such as holding your new baby in your arms or envisioning your other sweet children um, or something that just makes you super happy. So if at any time during your breathing you have a distracting or negative thought, you'll want to first notice it and then just release it and replace it with a positive thought. And then come back to your breath count, come back to your scanning, whichever mindful technique that you choose. So with all of that being said, it is good to start practicing this during your pregnancy to know which technique best works for you, keeps you focused, and keeps you in control. And it's even better to practice these techniques when you have a Braxton Hicks contraction or when you have some type of pain, like a natural pain when you stub your toe uh, or step on a Lego or something. Practice doing that if that ever happens. Or you could intentionally cause pain, such as doing a wall sit exercise or placing ice, using the ice technique, placing ice on your wrist and practicing your de-stressor breathing techniques and mindful techniques am in that state. This J breathing technique allows the perineum to stay relaxed while the baby is descending, thus reducing the risk of tearing and allowing a smoother, shorter pushing stage. So breathing baby out is pushing like you're blowing out a candle, but in order to breathe baby out with little to no effort, you must wait for the fetal ejection reflex to kick in, which is the body's natural pushing mechanism to eject 
baby out. True pushing is rarely required thanks to this reflex. So J breathing. Women can actually breathe their babies down the birth canal by sending breath down their body. An excellent visualization to pair with this type of breathing is to envision the body as a J with the breath following the body in the shape of a J and out the birth path. So instead of forcefully blowing air out of the mouth, blow like you would blow out a candle while also thinking about directing that breath downward. An excellent way to monitor if you are doing this J breathing thing right is to place one hand on top of the belly or right beneath the bust. So when you breathe out, this area on top of the belly should tighten very tight as breath is expelled. A big wide breath, you blow out and you tighten your transverse abdominal muscles and pretend like you're hugging your baby as you blow and push air out. That's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.